Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is part two of my makeup declutter where I go through my entire makeup collection and end up getting rid of almost half of it. If you haven't seen part one, I will leave it linked down below. I probably recommend that you go watch that first and then come back to this video as we're gonna be picking up straight from where we left off. So we're gonna be going through and decluttering some lashes, brows, uh, eye products, more eyeshadow palettes, lip products. There's a lot to get through. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump straight in. Before you leave, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and check out my Instagram, which is linked down below. And let's just go ahead and get started. Next drawer up, we have my single shadows as well as liquid shadows and my brow products. Oh, this section is such a mess. So we'll be changing out the divider so that everything fits a little better. So I just sorted through all of my Benefit brow products. Uh, the things I'll be getting rid of are just all empty or have expired. I love Benefit brows. Uh, some of my favorite products from them are the Micro Brow, precisely my brow pencil, and the brow gel. Oh, and I had all these random lids from them as well in this drawer, so they'll all be going. I'll be keeping these brow gels and getting rid of these ones because they're all empty. I'll also be keeping these three affordable brow gels. I have two lots of brow pencil and gel from Morphe. I really like these. So I'm going to keep the ones that I'm currently using in this drawer and the ones I haven't opened yet in my backup drawer. I want to play more with these brow pencils from Fenty and the wax. So I'll be keeping these as well as the pencils from LA Girl and Bold Face. I really, really like this one. I'll be keeping both of these brow pomades. And then I'll be adding to my collection this new brow powder from Morphe. It looks to be a really nice color, as well as the brow gel from Sigma and a BYS brow pencil. I'll definitely be keeping all of these Super Shock shadows from ColourPop. I really like them. I'll also be keeping all of my single eyeshadows and keeping these from Laura Mercier and Sigma. They are so pretty all over the lid. Oh, look at that. I'm going to be adding these shadow sticks by Pixie to my collection and then I'll be moving my brow highlighting pencils to this section. I don't really use them for my brows and I think they would just look really, really nice on the eye. Yeah, look at that. That's so pretty. That is from Morphe in the shade So Worth It. I don't know how I'm running out of room so quickly, but it looks like I'm going to have to do another reshuffle. I have all of these ColourPop Jelly Match shadows and they are so pretty, but unfortunately they dry out so quickly. Like, look at that, stunning, reflective, but it's all dried out. Even if I grab some with my nail, it's just like flaky and crumbly. So I started going through a few and they were just all completely dried up. And I was thinking, this is such a shame to get rid of all of these. And then I thought back, do you guys remember the little experiment that I did with rubbing alcohol on my two broken Jouer highlighters? Well, look at this. It worked perfectly. They are completely back to normal. So it got me thinking, maybe I could do the same with these and check this out. It is back to its glorious, beautiful self. I know the rubbing alcohol hasn't completely dried in this yet though, so I think what I'm gonna do is leave it for a day and then I'll be able to tell whether the product dries up again or if it stays like this. And then I'll decide whether I'm gonna keep them or sadly get rid of them. I'm gonna get rid of these from Revlon, although I really enjoyed using them. Um, this should not be there, so I think I've had these long enough. I'm also gonna get rid of these um, I don't think they're meant to look like this, uh, so I've obviously had these way too long. Oh, look at that. Looks like chunky cheese. <laughs> I just gave it a good shake, but yeah, I'm going to get rid of these. I will, however, be keeping all of these from Beauty Bay. They're really nice. I really enjoyed these from Australis, hence why they're almost all empty. So I think I've had good enough use out of these to get rid of them now. Unfortunately, all but one of my steel glitters have dried up, so I'll be getting rid of all these. I'll be getting rid of all of these from Urban Decay. 
Even though it doesn't look like it, I have completely used all of these dry. Look at that. There ain't any glitter left in this. I'll be keeping all of these. I really love these from Huda Beauty. I actually have a whole collection down in my studio that I use on clients, but I had an extra of these two, so I thought I'd keep them for myself. I'm really excited to be adding these to my collection. Again, it's from BYS as part of their Barbie collection. Look at how pretty and reflective this is. And also these. So this is like a glaze to get that model wet lid look. And also this, it's like liquid gold. Look at that. I'm so excited to play with all these. I have no idea how this drawer is still full. Because look at all the stuff we are getting rid of. So satisfying. So here we have one of four lash drawers. So Nakia Joy Cosmetics, Colourpop, and then we have some blush and highlighters along here just because they fit so well. I really can't see myself getting rid of anything from this drawer. I'm a little bit of a lash hoarder, but I'll definitely go through and clean everything. These are some of my favorite styles from Nakia Joy Cosmetics. We have Charlotte and Eloise. They're both so pretty. If when I'm cleaning lashes, I accidentally pull the lash band too hard, I then like to cut the lash in half so that I can still use it for outer corner lashes. I feel like Colourpop's lashes aren't talked about enough. They are really pretty and I'm excited to be adding these to my collection as well. I have some more Colourpop Super Shock highlighters in here. Um, I really, really love them. They are so reflective. This one's in the shade Stole the Show. And I know that I now have space in my highlighter drawer, but I just think it would be such a waste to waste all of this empty space. So I think that I'll just keep them in here. I will be getting rid of these Colourpop Super Shock blushes. Really pretty colors. It's like a putty formula. I just don't really understand them. I can't pick up the product with a um, brush or a sponge, only with my finger. But then when I dab it, like I would onto my cheek, no product comes out. I have to actually swipe it onto my skin, but then I'd be removing my foundation. So it just doesn't really make sense to me. Maybe I'm using them wrong, but I just don't reach for them. So I'm gonna get rid of them. Also in this drawer, I had these two classic highlighters. Um, I think I'm gonna move them to my highlighting drawer though, because I seem to always only remember that I keep the Colourpop ones in here and these are too gorgeous to forget. I really wanna use them more. So they're going to my highlighter drawer. We didn't get rid of much for this drawer, but it definitely looks a lot tidier. Lash drawer number two. So in this drawer, I've got some more Nakia Joy Cosmetics, Tarte Lashes, Huda Beauty, Tarte and Morphe. Oh, and some lash glue. The only lashes I won't be keeping in my collection are these. I'll add them to a giveaway. I'm not sure if you can tell, but they are super fluffy. Now, my eyes are pretty sensitive to lashes at the best of times. And when I tried this style, the fluffiness was just like tickling and irritating my eyes. My eyes were just completely watering. So as pretty as these are, I think someone else can get better use out of them. I will, however, be adding these to my collection from Glamlight. The packaging is just so much fun and I'm excited to try these. I mean, even lashes that kind of look like they're on their last legs, I can totally revive again by just cutting in half and using them as outer corner lashes. And I think that's why I have such a hard time throwing lashes away. Also because when I go out, I don't really reach for eyeshadow. I just wear liner and a lash. I mean, not that I'm justifying keeping all of these because no one needs this amount of lashes, but that was my attempt too, okay? <laughs> Oh, and I keep my lash glue in this drawer, so I'll be getting rid of the old dried up ones and keeping the rest. Lash drawer number three. Back here I have uh, like special effects lenses, rhinestones, all of which I'm gonna take out of this drawer. I'll probably just put in my wardrobe to be honest because these things aren't frequently used, but they're handy to have. I'm so happy to finally be adding a proper divider to this drawer. I forgot to tell you what was in this drawer. So half my collection of bold face makeup lashes. I love these. They literally have every single style you could ever want and need. 
Also some more lashes from Tati Lashes. Again, I'll be giving away this type of style, um, but the rest I'll keep because I love them. And then a whole heap of outer corner lashes from Allure in collaboration with Chloe Morello. Uh, I'll probably get rid of the ones that look very used and abused, but um, I'll definitely keep the rest because I love these as well. I'm so sorry, Chloe, you are beautiful and I love looking at your face, but Fortunately, your packaging just does not fit my drawers. I'm so sorry. I did not expect that changing my divider would give me all this extra room. I'm very happy. I, I do have some new Tati lashes. I know I'm obsessed and I was gonna put them in my backup drawer, but now that I have all this extra space, um, I'm just gonna put these in here. And these are the same ones as in the drawer below. Also in this drawer, I had these loose highlighters from Meraki Cosmetics. They are really nice, super reflective. So I think I'm gonna keep them in this drawer. They just fit really well, uh, especially now that I have all this extra space. And finally, the last drawer and the last of my lashes, thank gosh. <laughs> so in here, we have more bold face makeup, more Tati, and more Nakia Joy Cosmetics. I think I'm actually going to take out these dividers so that the lashes have a little bit more room to move. These Nakia Joy Cosmetics lash sets are really, really nice, but they don't fit in this drawer. So I think what I'm going to do is actually put them down in my studio to use on clients. I didn't really throw out anything, um, but I have decluttered these from my collection and adding them to a giveaway box. And that is the final draw from this nine Alex draw set, all done. So let's jump over here to where my clean brushes have been drying. I recently purchased these, again from Vanity Collections. Uh, I thought they'd be a little cuter than what I had before. I'm also going to try and categorize them. So this is the finished result. A little bit cramped, but we got everything in there. I think this is looking a lot better than it did before. I'm really happy with it. So finally up to the last five drawer unit. So in this top drawer here, we have all of my brown black mascaras and eyeliners. All of my colored mascaras and liners are in the next drawer down. I'm gonna start by getting rid of all of the mascaras that I know right here, right now, are way too old to still be in my collection. You know I enjoy a mascara when I've got doubles and triples of them. I'm gonna get rid of all of these from Benefit. They're definitely past their use by date and have all dried up. I will, however, be keeping this new They're Real mascara from Benefit. And I also have a new roller lash, so I'll be replacing this with this one. I'll be getting rid of all three of these from Too Faced. Can you tell? It's one of my absolute favorite mascaras. Um, they're all used up. I have no idea why I didn't chuck them out at the time. Um, but I'll be getting rid of those, but I'll be keeping this mini one. From Sigma, I'll be getting rid of this old one and keeping the newest one. Oh, and I'll also be keeping this mini. I actually really enjoyed this mascara. I already have used up the full size. Um, and I just feel like I may be able to squeeze a little bit more product out. I have been really loving this new mascara from Morphe. It is called Make It Big like really loving it. And it comes with a blue mascara and you're actually meant to apply this first and that helps to make this one really, really black. I haven't tried this technique yet, but I'll definitely be keeping this and giving that a go. Another mascara that I love is the Telescopic by L'Oreal. It has a really thin wand and it gives the most incredible length to your lashes. A couple more mascaras that I'll be keeping. So from KVD Beauty, Sam Marcel, Raw Beauty. This is a blue mascara that will be fun to try. I also have this lash primer from Marc Jacobs. Uh, if I remember correctly, I wasn't like overly impressed when I used it, um, but I think I'm gonna give it more of a chance. Now I also have all of these new mascaras to add to my collection, but I seem to have a bad habit of opening several mascaras at a time, using them once or twice, forgetting which ones I've used, and then they all end up drying up. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is add this Huda Beauty one to my collection because it's already out of its packaging. And then I'll put these in my backup drawer so that once I use a couple more of these up, then I'll replace them with these. Oh, and I also have this mini mascara from Astralis. This is really great for the lower lashes. So these are all of my black and brown liquid liners. I think I'm gonna go through them all, see which ones um, have dried out and that I'll be getting rid of and which ones I'll be keeping. Wow, I actually thought a lot more had dried out than that, um, but one of them has just left my skin with like a blue stain. It kind of reminds me of like a blue permanent marker. I have a feeling it was this one, permanent eyeliner pen. Let me try it here. Okay, I just left it for a second. Yep, it was this one. Oh my gosh, it says lasts up to two days. I don't really want my eyes stained, so I'm gonna get rid of this one, as well as these two that have just dried out. The rest, however, I'll be keeping. So what do we got here? We got some Sigma, Benefit, uh, NYX. I really like these Tartus liners from Tarte. We've also got the Huda Beauty liners. They are also really good, as well as these Tattoo liners from KBD, uh, one from Ico, and Astralis. I've also got two new liners to add to my collection, but just like the mascaras, I'm gonna wait until I use up more of what I already have first before I open these. Ooh, I'll also be throwing this from Saint Marcel. I know I really enjoyed it, but it's all dried out. And now I'll be going through some colored liners again to see what I can keep and what is gone bad. All right, I'll be getting rid of all of these NYX liners because they have just completely dried out. So from what I just swatched, I'll be keeping these. So two neon liners. This white liner from Morphe, I totally forgot I had this, but it will be really good to use for some more creative looks. And from BYS, although the glitter's just completely dried out, it does have a black pencil and I actually don't have too many of those. All right, it's time to sort through all of these pencils. So this is everything I'll be keeping. So we got some Mecha Max, we got uh, Urban Decay. This is really, really nice. Designer brands, Colourpop, we have some Sigma. This is great for brightening the waterline. And this from Marc Jacobs. Uh, the rest I will be getting rid of because they have all dried out for some reason. This one hasn't, so I'll be keeping them because I do really enjoy them. Oh, and I'll also be adding these to my collection. I'll be keeping all of these gel liners. So we have some Colourpop, Tarte, and KBD Beauty. Oh, and I've randomly had this neon body paint in here, so I'm gonna add that to my like special effects box. So this is everything we'll be getting rid of for this drawer. Not bad, I'm pretty happy with that. So that is this drawer all done. Next up, we have probably my most satisfying, aesthetically pleasing drawer. And in here we have glitters and like glitter shimmer pigments. From first glance, I really can't see anything I'll be getting rid of. Oh, actually these, these are really, really old, like shimmer pigments. The colors don't really excite me. So I will be getting rid of these. Everything else uh, I'll be keeping. I will be doing some rearranging though. So something like this. It's a really pretty single eyeshadow from Tarte. Um, I'll be adding that to my single eyeshadow drawer. I'll also be moving this big glitter from Tarte as well as Colourpop's literally obsessed glitters. Um, I've got a few more of these in the drawer below, so I'm gonna move them down there. And hopefully that will give me a little bit of room to add the Colourpop Jelly Munch shadows in here. So my little experiment with the um, rubbing alcohol was unfortunately a fail. Once the rubbing alcohol dried, so did the product, but these are so pretty. So I think I'm just gonna keep them for now and then when I do wanna use them, I'll add some sort of liquid to them, solution to uh, reactivate them. Oh, I'll also be adding these from BYS. I've used them um, a couple times before, but they've been in a different drawer. I think that they will fit really nicely in this little section here. So 
So I'm going to start adding back into my collection all of my Glitter Realm Cosmetics glitters as well as my glitters from Violet Voss. And of course, they're going to be put back in color order. Some more glitters here, so from BYS and Astralis. Next, I'll be adding in my Be Perfect Cosmetics glitters in collaboration with Jar, some shimmers from Astralis, as well as some really fun, like, chunky glitters uh, from Meraki Cosmetics. I have some more really fun, chunky glitters from Festival Face, as well as some gold pieces. I have some glitters from Stargazer, uh, some shimmer pigments from Colourpop, as well as MAC. I have here some metallic shadows. These are really pretty. So I have some from Mecha Max, uh, Astralis, and Chi Chi. And then I also have some really fun neon um, loose shadow pigments. These are really, really cool. And these are from Stargazer. I've got a few more really fun uh, loose shadows here. These are from Lux La Rose. So I just added in those ColourPop Jelly Match shadows and the BYS glitters, and that's it. I really, really love how this drawer looks. Okay, next drawer. So in here, I've got some sponges. I mean, just to get straight into it, I'm gonna be um, moving them from this drawer. I just had nowhere to put them before, but now I'll be um, putting them with all of my brushes. So I've also got in here my Super Beauty Water Activated Liners, ColourPop BFF Mascaras. I've also got more of the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed Glitters. Here are all of my eye bases, uh, Too Faced Glitter Glue. My favorites over here are all from P. Louise. Over here, I have some ColourPop Colored Liquid Liners and ColourPop cream gel liners. I'll also be adding a few more colors. I feel like at this point I'm just collecting them. I just find all of the different colors just like so much fun and I love the formula. So I won't really be getting rid of anything. Um, oh, maybe this actually, cause it's empty. Um, but I'll basically just be doing a little bit of rearranging in this drawer. Okay, quick change of plans. I actually really like seeing these ColourPop liners on display. I just think they're really fun. And I recently purchased some lipstick and lip gloss containers from Amazon because I needed them for my lip drawer. Um, and I have a couple spare. So I thought, what happens if I put my liners in here? And then I could put my lip liners in here as well um, and display them next to my brushes. I mean, that could be cute. So I think I'm gonna do that. That will also free up some space in here. You know what? I might actually put my colored eyeshadow bases from P. Louise in here as well. Oh my gosh, cute. I love that. And that is this drawer all done. So in this next drawer, we've got my medium-sized eyeshadow palettes, a couple of small ones as well that I probably just shoved here because they didn't fit in my other drawer. Straight off the bat, I have no idea why this is in here from ColourPop. I actually have the perfect spot to put this. So I may or may not have just made my fifth lash drawer. I know, I've got a problem, um, but I was like, now that I've got a bit of space to fill, let's go shopping. So I just went out and purchased these really cool white lashes from Boldface and these colorful lashes. I'm obsessed. So I have these Z palettes. Do you guys remember when this was the thing to have? In here, I've got some Sugar Peel, some um, ColourPop, Makeup Geek. I really don't reach for these. I'll normally just grab a palette. I think what I'll do is give it a bit of a clean and actually move them to my lip drawer. Um, there's like a bit of a space that I need to put something in so that my lip products don't move around. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Um, but I think that these will work perfectly. And then I may as well just keep the shadows in them if I'm going to be using them anyway. So I have here my Juvia's Place palette collection. Uh, I think I'll be keeping all of these. Um, I don't reach for them quite as much as I used to, but I feel like each palette has like a couple of shades that I really love. Like this palette has a gold. 
this one here. I really, really love this gold. So yeah, I think I'll keep all of them. So I've got a couple of longer palettes here. This one's from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I'll be keeping that. Life's a Drag from Luna Beauty. Oh my gosh, I obviously spilled purple glitter on this or something because there's just purple glitter everywhere. From Suva Beauty. What's this called? Cupcakes and Monsters. Very cute. I'll keep that. And this palette I literally only use for this gorgeous, like, ready cranberry shade. Um, I'm tempted to get rid of it, but I feel like I don't have enough of these type of shades in my collection, so I think I'm going to keep it. I really love these certified palettes, so I'll be keeping both of these. So I've got a couple of palettes here from Tarte. This one, oh my gosh, I used to love this palette. I don't think I would use it now because it's probably really old, but I don't know if I can get rid of it. It's such a throwback. Plus, does anyone else love the smell of Tarte shadows? They smell delicious. Let's have a look at this palette. Oh, okay. Ooh, cute. This is in the wrong drawer, but we have a glow and blush palette. That coral shade here is calling my name. <laughs> I think what I'll do is pop this in my other drawer with the rest of my larger um, blush and highlighters, and I think I'll keep both of these. <laughs> Oh, another two palettes I used to love. These are from Violet Voss. Oh my gosh, what a throwback. I was obsessed with this palette. Oh, I think I wouldn't use them for eyeshadow because I know they're pretty old, but I have used them a couple of times before to fill in my hair. You know how sometimes you, you have like a high ponytail and you just need to kind of fill in any sparse areas? This palette is great for that. As you can see, I've used this shade a lot for when I had red hair. Uh, so I think I'll keep these for that reason. So the last two palettes in these drawers, and I will be getting rid of them. Yay, we've got some success. I'm not just keeping everything. Um, I haven't really used these too much. They have a really unpleasant smell to them. I think that's because they are pretty old now. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting these on my eyes. So I'm gonna be getting rid of them. Okay, so we've now moved over here. This is what is behind me when I film. My backdrop is on this. Um, and in this top drawer here, oh, it's a little bit hard to open, um, but we have more palettes. I know, I've got way too many, um, but these are, I think, just my big palettes. Um, this drawer fits quite a lot, so it's great to put these in here. So I'm going to be keeping all three of these BYS palettes. They're actually really nice and super affordable. I think the reason why I'm so bad at getting rid of eyeshadow palettes is because obviously there's so many variations of every color. I just want to be prepared, you know, so that no matter what look I have in mind, I've got the perfect color for it. Also keeping this palette from BH Cosmetics, this from Too Faced, and the It's All Good palette from ColourPop. I'm also gonna be adding in a palette, so this is also from ColourPop, and I am so excited to use this. It is so pretty. Another palette that I'll be adding in is from Glam Light. I've actually never tried that eyeshadow palettes before. This packaging is so cute, and the shades inside, like, are you kidding me? I am really excited to use this. Okay, a couple more palettes to go. So this is the Maddie Ziegler collaboration. I actually haven't dipped into this yet, but I already know the quality is gonna be great because it's with Morphe. Um, I love these pops of color, especially this yellow here. And then we have the BH Cosmetics collaboration with Jar. I love this palette. I feel like it's such a staple in my collection. And finally, we have these two bad boys. So this is from P. Louise. I love it, it's just the packaging is quite bulky and heavy, um, so it definitely has to go into this drawer, but the shades are really pretty, some nice nude pinks. And then from Beauty Bay, I love this palette, you guys have seen me use it quite a bit, um, so yeah, another staple in my collection. Alright, this is where things get a little bit interesting uh, slash chaotic. This here is my lip gloss drawer. We also have some like lip liners, lippy sticks, but for the most part, we have lip glosses. These dividers I love, however, they're meant for Alex drawers, which is the other drawers that I have. Um, so these always slide around in here. Usually I'll put something here like 
I don't know, hair stuff or other backup products. However, I have more of those really handy dividers that I purchased off Amazon. So I can put more lip glosses in here and that will go here. And this is where those Z palettes that I was talking about earlier will come in handy because I'm gonna fit these, them along here and hopefully that will stop everything sliding. That's the plan anyway. So I'm going to get rid of all of these Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. I used to use these all the time, so I've definitely got a good use out of them, but I know they are so off and expired. Um, plus, she kindly sent me a couple of new ones, so I can replace these with those ones. I'll pop them in my other drawer with the rest of my liquid lipsticks. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of all of these. These liquid lipsticks from Tarte were also in this drawer, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but they have um, definitely split. I am going to get rid of them because I know that they're quite old. I'm also going to get rid of all of these like miscellaneous lipsticks. Look at this. I'm not sure if you can tell, but like I don't even know what's growing on this. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of these crayon lip products. So we have Bite Beauty and Maybelline. I just never really reached them and I know that they're past their use by day. I'm also going to get rid of these Colourpop lippy sticks. Again, I just know they're really old and I never really reached for them. I will probably be keeping a couple of mini ones though. Um, I know that these were given to me a lot more recently um, and I actually don't have too, too many like ready deep lip products because um, I normally just gravitate towards and purchase nudes. So I think these colors will be good to have. I will however be moving them to the next drawer over because they are matte and I'm trying to keep this drawer just purely glosses. Some lip crayons I will be keeping are the Just A Tint range. These are really great to just like throw in your purse for a bit of color on the go. And I really love their color selection. Speaking of Colourpop, I'll also be keeping all of their ultra glossy lips. I really enjoy these, as well as these two um, Lux glosses that I have that were part of the Raw Beauty Christie collab. And as you can see, I like to turn my lip products upside down so that I can actually see what colour they are, so that I can grab them really easily. Otherwise, I would literally just be looking at a whole bunch of different coloured lids. And finally, from Colourpop, I'll be keeping all of their So Juicy Pumping Glosses. I'm not usually a fan of pumping glosses because I hate that like tingling sensation, but these ones are bearable and they're probably my glossiest glosses <laughs> that I have in my collection. They show up so well in photos. I really, really love them. And I also am adding, oh gosh, there's hair everywhere, three more to my collection. These pinks are so cute. So you know that like oily stain that was here? Well, I know the product that did it, and not only because my hands are currently covered in oil from holding these, but also because I actually really like these lip creams, and I use them on clients, and I have experienced that issue before with them. I have no idea what it is. It's a shame, because otherwise I'd be keeping all of them, but for that reason, I'm just going to keep these more colourful shades and get rid of all of the nudes. I'm not sure if you can tell by looking at the shade names on the bottom, but it's like oil has seeped into all of these ones. These ones seem fine, but yeah, I don't know what happened to these. I have more lip glosses from Astralis as part of their Girl Boss range, and I'll be keeping all of these. I haven't had that like oily problem with these so far, um, and they're some really nice shades. I will probably be getting rid of their lip oils, as well as some Anoxa lip tint serums that I have. I just don't really reach for these. A couple of random products here, just like one product from each brand that I'll be keeping. I'll be moving this matte liquid lipstick to my next drawer, and I'll be getting rid of both of these. Keeping all of my Huda Beauty glosses, and I'll be adding into my collection these from Laura Mercier. They look really, really pretty. I'll be keeping these like glitter glosses from BYS. And from Jouer. So I'm gonna be keeping all of these from Morphe. Not only is the formula great, but I just find them really satisfying to collect. I love the packaging. Okay, so let's talk about Fenty. So I'll be keeping all of these luxurious lip balms. I really like them. I'll also be keeping all of her gloss bombs. And I'm excited to be adding these to my collection, her latest gloss bomb cream products. 
So I have these lip glosses from Sigma as well as these cute little minis. Um, I just realized that I haven't even used these three and I just recently got sent them and I already have them in mini form. So I think what I'm going to do is give these a bit of a clean and add them to my giveaway and I'll be keeping all of these and the minis as well because I do really like Sigma's lip glosses. Some more cute little minis from Morphe. So I'll be adding these three into my collection and keeping the ones I already owned. Oh, also from Sigma, I'll be keeping their recent launch of the hydrating lip gloss. I haven't tried this yet, but I have tried their new lip mask and I really, really love it. So I'm excited to use this. Some more minis here that I'll be keeping. These are all from Mecca Max and Colourpop. Last couple of lip products. So we have these glass glosses from Kevin Aquan. I really like these. They're so glossy. I have a moisturizing uh, lip product from Benefit that I'll be keeping in this drawer. And these are metallic mattes from Smashbox. I'll be keeping these as well, but moving them over to the next drawer. So now that I've got everything that I'm going to be keeping in here, I can see exactly what I've got. I'm going to do a bit of rearranging because I'm not a fan of how I've laid it out like this way rather than spreading them out a little bit. So yeah, a bit of rearranging, but I will still kind of categorize them in each brand and color. Wow, look at all this room. I love lip glosses, so I'm so excited about this because it means that I can just add more to my collection. So before this drawer is all done, we have lip liners. So I'm going to be getting rid of all of these. So there's a bunch of Chi Chi and ColourPop in here. I know that they're just really old. And these ColourPop ones, it's like plasticky here, so you couldn't sharpen it properly and literally this would happen. Like they were just unusable. I don't even know why I've kept them for so long. Look at that. Like, no, it is a no for me. We are getting rid of all of these. I will, however, be keeping these from Huda Beauty and Morphe. Originally, I was going to be putting my lip liners in this divider. However, I did a little bit of shopping the past few weeks and I just bought some new P. Louise bases. So I popped them in here. So I'm just going to keep my uh, lip liners in here. These taller lip liners from Morphe that don't fit straight up, I'm just going to pop here. And the rest I'll just put here. And I'll be adding these to my collection. So from Laura Mercier and Colourpop. I'm hoping the same thing doesn't happen as the last ones. Um, but I really did need some nude lip liners. So I thought I'll give them a go. Look at all of the products we'll be getting rid of. Oh yeah, baby. We did really well on this drawer. So I'm just going to fill the sides with the Z palette so that the dividers don't move. All right. And that is this drawer all done. Yay, we are on to the last drawer, finally. This is very exciting. So, introducing to you all of my liquid lipsticks and lipsticks. So this here is my more matte drawer. All right, let's start over this side this time with lipsticks. So I'm going to be keeping a whole bunch of the Velvet Blur from Colourpop. I've got a range of different nude shades. I'll also be adding to my collection this really nice, like, rich red from Colourpop. So here we have some more affordable lipsticks that I will be adding into my collection from Milani. So we have the Bold Matte and Colour Statement lipstick. We have a nice array of colours here. I'll also be adding to my collection of these fun colors from BYS as part of their Barbie collection. Also from BYS, some more affordable matte lipsticks, again, in some really nice fun colors. And then I've got a couple of random lipsticks here, again, just like one from a particular brand. This is a really pretty shade. And then we've got some NARS, Porter Beauty, and Too Faced here. Some more lipsticks here. These are from Sigma, the Infinity Point. I really love these shades and the packaging is just like so sleek. I love it. And then two matte lipsticks from Morphe. This is Sweet Tea, which is a really popular shade. I decided to use that. And then this one is in Play Games and it's such a fun color. Look at that. I would definitely have to find like the perfect look to use this in. Also from Morphe, I have these midi liquid lipsticks in these gorgeous nude shades. And finally for lipsticks, we have my favorites from Huda Beauty. I have a whole bunch more of these down in my studio that I use on clients. 
They are matte and they last a really long time and yet they're also so comfortable on the lips. These are just my go-to. I also have these from Fenty. These are slip shines. To be honest, they should probably be going in my lip gloss drawer because um, they have like a nice sheen to them. But I think I just like associate them with this drawer and this section because they're in like this lipstick bullet um, type packaging. So I'll be keeping all of these that I own. And then I have some minis that I'll be keeping. So some liquid lipsticks from Smashbox and then from Colourpop we have blotted lip and matte lips. Okay, so far I haven't done very well getting rid of anything yet. So let's go through a few things that I definitely know I will not be keeping. So I've got some liquid lipsticks here from Milani and Ofra. They are just so old, so I'll be getting rid of these. I'll also be getting rid of these from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I got some really good use out of them. I really loved the shades, but I just know now that they're, they're past their time. They're looking a little bit a little bit grotty and getting rid of these from Coloured Brain. Again, I just know I've had them for a long time and they're expired. So I'll be getting rid of these liquid lipsticks from Sigma. They are just really old. Plus I have a whole bunch of their newer released liquid lipsticks in this really gorgeous sleek packaging. So I'll be keeping all of those, getting rid of these. I do however have a new one of these. It's been sitting in my cupboard for a little bit so it's not the newest uh, lip product ever but newer than this one and I just really love the colour. I think it's quite unique so I will be keeping this. I'm also going to be getting rid of all of these from Morphe. You know it's old when the packaging is outdated and it's even their old logos. So these are definitely expired. I have one to replace it with, a nice updated liquid lipsticks, and this is in shade Sweet Tea. I'm going to be getting rid of all of these Jouer liquid lipsticks. Um, I've had them for a while now and they've kind of turned into like a pasty consistency. So. I think it's time for these to go. So I'll be keeping these lip paints from Fenty Beauty and liquid lipsticks from Dragon Beauty. I'll also be keeping my collection of Colourpop Ultra Blotted Lips and KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. So these are the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte and Demi Mattes that are new to my collection that Huda very kindly sent me. I really love the packaging of these so that you can actually see the colour a little bit better. Um, but I used to be obsessed with her liquid mattes so I'm excited to be re-adding them back into my collection. I don't really use liquid lipsticks as much as I used to. Um, I just gravitate more towards lip glosses now so that they don't dry out my lips. But it's always good to have some handy. I'm going to be keeping all of my Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. I'm going to keep my Super Beauty Liquid Lipsticks. They're probably getting a little bit old now, but I feel like I might be able to squeeze a little bit more use out of them, so I'm going to keep them. And I have this really nice Coral Liquid Lipstick from Lime Crime as well that I'll be popping right here. And finally, I have my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick Collection and some minis as well that were sitting in a drawer. I am going to go through and sort out which products um, are still good that I can keep and get some more use out of and which ones have gone bad. So those are the ones that I'll be keeping and these are the ones that I'll be getting rid of. Alright, let me do another quick little rearrange because these little gaps are killing me. <laughs> So these are all of the products that we are getting rid of. I think we did it pretty well. I am so happy with how it's looking, all that empty space. Oh, it's just so satisfying. Okay, and that is finally this last drawer all done. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.